Hello YouTube, this is Morgan Airspeed Prime here with my next uh, Avatar news video. Uh, in this case we have an update on Avatar The Last Airbender, Toph Beifong's Metal Bending Academy. So we had the initial reveal of this, then we had the description revealed to us. Uh, now we have sort of some clarification through some marketing information as well as what Faith Aaron Hicks has said about the book on Twitter. Uh, to give us some extra insight into the book. So, um, the parts of the description that I think we get revealed here are with regards to this. So, uh, Sokka and Suki come to visit and reintroduce some familiar faces from their wandering days, as well as uh, Top discovers something that might uh, just might put the sparkle back in her eye. So, this is what everyone was speculating about when the description came out. Faith Aaron Hicks, once the book was officially announced, for anyone wondering, this Hollywood Reporter article, while it is, I suppose, the official reveal of this book, doesn't really reveal it that much. I don't think it even includes the description. It just has the release date. This is the next Avatar book. It's a very, very basic exclusive reveal. Um, and I don't think you expect any more from a place like the Hollywood Reporter, really. Um, but anyway, she says this tweet then afterwards. This comic is set after the events of the Rift and has a lot of punching, feelings, and terrible music, really. And it's been really uh, fun to write these standalone comics and Peter has been killing it in, on art and I've been working with uh, Tim Hedrick, who's also super great. So yeah, uh, Tim Hedrick is now the sort of sort of supervisor on these comics uh, as one of the writers from the shows uh, rather than having Mike on these, I suppose. Um, that's obviously a very interesting one, uh, given the that these don't seem to be covering anything like particularly important in terms of their content. So they only need a writer rather than one of the creators on board. I, I, well, we'll see how that goes with regards to like you know other stuff when like the next core comic gets announced, who or who isn't involved in that. But yeah, it confirms to us that it's set after the rift, which I think is meant to mean it's not set after imbalance, meaning it's at this sort of middle point. Uh, I guess before their appearance in North and South, but obviously after the rift. So that means the uh, the trio uh, Hotun. Um, uh, Panga and the Dark One are all trained, they're all skilled, and the the there's still like there's other students I suppose coming in. So her school is a success, but it's we're not talking about stuff that's gonna happen post imbalance. So I think that all makes sense. But it seemingly revealed who the characters were with this. Terrible music. Really? The only thing that fit to me with this book and music was the idea of like, okay, we know some uh, characters are coming in, familiar faces from their wandering days, um, Chong and the Nomads, uh, Moku and Lil Lily and, and so on, the, the, the Nomads um, from the Cave of Two Lovers. It has to be them, right? I know I have so, some people being like, but their music isn't terrible, but I suppose it's one of those weird things where like they're not meant to be seen as this like amazing band and Sokka was like annoyed by them. Uh, I know the other characters actually quite enjoyed their songs, but um, I suppose their music is meant to be like, you know, fun, but like too much of it is maybe uh, not the best thing. And so that's why she refers to it as being sort of terrible. Plus, we also don't know what exact dynamic they're going to play in the book, but um, it, it's an interesting one. And, and, the, and the other reason for it, the other piece of news is probably what it, you probably haven't heard about before, is this. If you go to Edelweiss and look at the product listing for um, this book, and you go down past summary, past contrib contributor bios, links, and get to key selling points, you get this last point here. Lots of nostalgia from the original series, including the band from the Underground Tunnel and Underground Bending Tournaments. So this pretty much confirms to us, along with what Faith Aaron Hicks had to say, that like, oh yeah, it kind of has to be Chong and the Nomads. I suppose technically it could be the Flamios since they played in a cave. But I think the intent here would be more that, you know, uh, Wandering Days, Chong and the Nomads. Um it makes sense that it's them in terms of the whole terrible music idea. So I think that's what this confirms. Um, and I'm guessing that is uh, Sokka and Suki reintroduce um, Chong and the Nomads. Um, and then 
this was sort of a surprise. I didn't really expect it to be sort of two different groups of characters like this, but also uh, underground bending tournaments. So they're bringing the idea, and I suppose potentially the characters from Earth Rumble, back into things here. Um, again, they're they're sort of unspecific here because I suppose they don't want to give it away. But if you're if you know what you're talking about here, you can immediately figure out and connect the dots. Uh, it's Chong and the Nomads, it's Earth Rumble, it's the Boulder, the Hippo, the Gopher, all those sort of characters, Fire Nation Man, and potentially others. We'll see what exactly they're doing here. Is it just going to be straight up the return of Earth Rumble? Or could they actually use this as potentially some sort of a prelude to pro bending? We're probably not anywhere near pro bending just yet. But if they potentially are now post-war, maybe incorporating some of the other bending styles into this, obviously, wrestling-esque promotion where, you know, to a degree they're sort of, you know, actual bending fights, but there's also a sense of it being sort of, like, pre-planned, booked, like actual, like, wrestling is, just with the characters that they have and so on. And it would actually be very cool for it to be extended into more than just uh, earth bending. But we'll see what exactly they go for. If they're going for nostalgia, it will just be probably the next Earth Rumble. And we'll see the boulder, the hippo, and the others. I, I, I suppose the character I'd be maybe looking out for in terms of something very unique in the book would be that will they reintroduce uh, Zin Fu in this? Because we know from the rift that Zin Fu and Master Yu have stopped their pursuit of... Um, Toph, of course. So that means they didn't die when uh, Toph trapped them in the metal box. They got out, so they're out there somewhere. And Zin Fu was, of course, sort of the the businessman sort of behind Earth Rumble, so and, and sort of like one of the more powerful Earthbenders there. It would be cool to see him reintroduced in a sort of different situation like this. Now, the question obviously is, okay, is, is these extra bending tournaments going to be the things that, uh, you know, puts the sparkle back in Toph's eye? I think that's what it has to be. That these were the things that Toph focused on before she had even met the gang. Um, these were the things that she created this whole other life for herself after she became proficient at earthbending to give herself something to do this other persona as the blind bandit so returning to that feels like the perfect way for her to do something very fun and entertaining and get away from perhaps uh, the the school and its success becoming a little bit mundane so my guess is probably that Sokka and Suki come in bring in Chang and the nomads and they interact with Toph's students and then Toph goes off and does some Earth Rumble stuff just to sort of uh, have some time to herself just to sort of reflect on old times and be the blind bandit again I suppose um, and then it's all about like what characters they properly introduce and what's the significance of Chong the Nomads meeting up with everyone else and what does Toph get from you know participating in the tournaments again like I said there's an option if they want to to go into like oh setting up pro bending if they wanted to by like maybe now that the nations are coming together a little bit more maybe there's some water benders as part of earth earth rumble now maybe they're just calling it like bending rumble or something um but even if it is just the earthbender characters um it'll be fun to see if there's like new characters like new talent introduced into the uh, organization someone like say fire fire nation man his gimmick sort of doesn't really work anymore in this era because the fire nation isn't sort of the enemy anymore so like might he he probably isn't a like heel anymore he might be a face um th they might change that up um so yeah, th th this definitely adds, I think, something extra to this book of just like, okay, this is potentially like, what, six, seven notable minor characters coming into this book in addition to it being about Toph, the students, Sokka and Suki. Um, especially like how, how it went from the reaction after we just had the cover and the title and it seemingly just being about Toph. Now there's all these other characters involved. That definitely creates more of an interest to me around it. So, um, yeah, 
Um, I guess we need to look out going forward for these uh, selling points revealing something else extra about the book. Um, that's pretty interesting to know. Uh, I did, I believe, check Katara if there was any of these for this. But if you look here, yeah, there's, there's nothing extra for the Katara book, just in case you were wondering. And then we obviously have no other new books announced to kind of warrant like checking it out. But um, yeah, in the comments, let me know what your thoughts are on seemingly, I suppose. Uh, I'm not going to say it's full confirmation, but it seems highly likely at this stage that the characters we're going to see return are Chong and the Nomads, as well as the return to Earth Rumble and characters like the Boulder and the Hippo. Um, so what are your thoughts on that and what that could mean for the book in addition to it being set after the Rift? Uh, in terms of the timeline that we get here. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. But that's been the video. Thanks for watching and bye.